Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on ventricular septal defect murmur, which is a systolic murmur. The ventricular septal defect murmur is a pan-systolic, high-pitched murmur. Heard best in the 4th to 6th intercoastal spaces, that does not radiate to the axilla, and does not increase with inspiration. As its name suggests, it occurs due to ventricular septal defect. For its mechanism. A pressure gradient across the defect and turbulent flow are the principal factors involved in the mechanism. The left ventricle experiences much higher pressure than the right ventricle. The septal defect allows blood to go from a region of high pressure to the low pressure of the right ventricle. Turbulent flow across the orifice creates the murmur. Whereas for mechanism of dynamic maneuvers, maneuvers such as squatting and isometric hand grip exercises increase systemic vascular resistance. This in turn increases afterload on the left ventricle, raising left ventricular pressures, which leads to more blood being pushed across the ventricular septal defect, producing a louder murmur. This is a diagram showing the mechanism of ventricular septal defect. When the patient does hand grip exercise, there is arteriolar constriction and increased systemic vascular resistance. Or when the patient is squatting, there is compression of the femoral arteries, and hence also increased systemic vascular resistance and venous return. These then increase the left ventricular pressure. High LV pressure to RV pressure gradient. More blood flow across the VSD, hence VSD murmur occur. For its sign value, the intensity of the murmur may be a guide to the size of the defect. The smaller the defect, often the louder the murmur. That's all for this video. Thank you.